gentlemen, here we go, once again. Catch weight contest this time, and six five minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout decides the winner. On my right, in the red corner, the heavy middleweight champion of the world, the lean machine, from Manchester, Roll the ball, Mark Crawford. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, the first time here at the Royal Albert Hall, from Scotland, Steve McCoy. If you heard that at home, that was uh, Mark Rocco, and I'm saying that uh, the reason Kung Fu that damn face him this afternoon is because uh, he's gone back to Canada and he gave him such a hiding a month ago. I expect you saw that on television. And he didn't uh, dare face him for the world title, so it's a catchweight gout instead. The first round. Six five-minute rounds, two falls to decide, and a new fella in the opposing corner to Mark Rocco, Steve McCoy. Good looking boy, six foot five inches tall, 17 stone two. <laughs> Mark Rocco might have an even more tricky job here this afternoon than he thought he was going to against Kung Fu for this world belt because he's giving away a round for Star. Very near. Referee Max Ward in charge of this one. And of course with Mark Rocco in the ring. I'm sure Max Ward knows that he could have trouble. And already the boy from Swinton Lancashire, Steve McCoy, getting a wee bit angry. And of course the crowd here at the Albert Hall love anything that anybody can do against Mark Rocco. controlling this fellow. Beautiful. Swinging up the top. And my Rocco complaining about that one. Many of the grapple fans here at the Albert Hall obviously know this boy, Steve McCoy. They've probably seen him in the halls up and down the country, but he's never been on television before this afternoon. But they're all for him. And he's a little mad at Rocco already. Rocco, who's inclined to use a lot of inside moves and hair pulls. Now, here's, here's, there's a dangerous position with his back to the referee, but the referee came around in time. And the knee drop, beautiful, base of the spine drop, right onto his right knee, McCoy. Just listen to the crowd here now, love that. And uh, uh, again the hair pull, again checking the man before he... Anything could happen in this one. Steve McCoy, not a bit frightened of him, he's going straight. Up. On the ropes. 
board lets that go. Reverse double knee hole. Rocco the first chance for a pinfall. Cross press. Now getting a shoulder blade off each time. Too powerful for that, this fella. Just a minute left. First round. And it's McCoy saying, come on, come to me. Four Nelson Rocco. Highly reach it. Six foot five, his opponent. Great box, great box. Over the top, taking his man with him, double leg Nelson to McCoy. Very the old his man right line on the canvas. And he still couldn't resist going in. The referee has something to say about that. Half a minute left. And Max Ward's going to start dishing out some public warnings as well as private ones soon. Beautiful swing out the cover again. 15 seconds. Nicely done by McCoy. Beautifully done. out there to make sure he's all right. He's already had a very nasty gash in his right leg from just that sort of move. But it was his own fault. And we, here we go for round two. They're not even in the ring yet, but it's round two, and Max Ward is entitled to start counting if his... if Steve McCoy gets back to his own corner. Now, Max Ward giving you a chance to get back before starting the count. So typically with this jump, but he landed nicely, left knee worried a bit, but not too bad. Oh yes, totally beautiful on the way through. Now he's going for that left knee, McCoy. Going for the double arm now, trying for a suplex, but he thought he was a bit heavy, so he decided against it. McCoy coming out on top with that uh, double-handed wrist lever. Half Nelson throw by McCoy. Oh, he's, he's quite something, this fella. He may have a weight advantage and a height advantage against uh, Rocco, the mid heavyweight, the heavy middleweight champion of the world. Uh, that's what he's complaining about now, I think, to the crowd. But he's showing some tremendous wrestling skills. Drop it to Rocco. Doesn't hold it. <laughs> okay, you won't like that one bit. Yes, takes his arm well. Beautiful, this follow. Rocco going you know, to argue like mad with the referee, Max Ward. But he won't listen. He says, get on with it. Get on with it. That's all he's saying. But this is going to be a... This is going to be a tougher proposition for Mark Rocco, this catchweight contest than it would be the defendant's world belt against Kung Fu. But Kung Fu, having left the country for Canada, decided not to try it on this occasion. But Rocco's got more problems on because of this big man from Swinton in Lancashire. Couple of minutes left in the second. Him off 
finish there nicely. those punches landing in the face there and he's getting caught right in the top two here and he's got a public warning for that and this rocker clean across the top rope in a split dive public warning against Rocco holding it up with that move and he's done no good at all, I should think that one. seconds left in this second half. And still Rocco strolling around, doesn't want to know for the moment. And just a couple of seconds left only. Watch Rocco get up, accidentally going into a <laughs> standing position on his opponent. This fella may be bigger than he is. He's six foot five and 17 stone, but he's giving an awful lot of good uh, holes to his opponent, Rocker. Trained, incidentally, by Wild Angus, the Scottish heavyweight. Well, we're going to see more of Steve McCoy. I'd like to see him against a heavyweight in some future bout on television, but he's certainly showing he's got the moves all right. <laughs> his very first appearance on television and his great friend and who trains with a lot from Salford, Lancashire is uh, a man that grapple fans will know for sure Peter Stewart told me his specialities with speed and strength for the, he's certainly shown both of them here today and Rocco with one public warning against him already is liable to get a second and final he continues that and the double arm he's going to try a suplex again Rocco surely he can't lift him in that Watch hold now to McCoy, follow down, a little bit late, but he got a chance, he's got a chance. With that weight, he could hold him down in that cross press. Plenty of room for him, away from the ropes. Now it gives up. He's okay, no damage to him, and no good thing any damage to the equipment. But he's out the other side. And this Steve McCoy is something to be reckoned with, he really is. A great sportsman, this fella. Apart from wrestling, he's a semi-pro soccer for Stockport County, and also amateur rugby league for Lang Schoolboys. So he's been through the sports, and that was with a double-handed hair hole. Quite illegal. And of course, no count as Rocco goes out for that. And a forward on. Oh, 
Jones. That doesn't look too good at all, the way he went straight forward. He could have reached the post with his mouth there. Tries to get under the top and back across his man. Across the beautiful cross press. Now his weight should hold him now. He's got it. Two minutes, 44 seconds. Round three. McCoy, the first pinfall. Ladies and gentlemen, in round three, has followed a contest. He used the rope. Come on. still complaining I don't quite know what about it was a perfectly good pinfall and a very neat move indeed but of course we must remember that he has got a tremendous weight advantage here this afternoon halfway through the bout three to go Sings away round four round four and it's McCoy leading Rocco by one fall to nil in this catchweight contest here at the Royal Albert Hall and it's Rocco who has one public warning against him Straight to the stomach by McCoy, which Canvas saw, we saw, but and it's a backdrop. Taking his man with him, double leg Nelson. He'll never hold that. <laughs> and McCoy helping Rocco clear out under the apron of the ring, which he catches with his back on the way down. So no count by the referee. You see the back elbow. Beautiful check. What a body check. All 17 stones going straight into Rocco there. The ropes, giving him an impetus. The leg came out well from Rocco. Perfectly legal, that. It's just a question can this boy McCoy keep it up? Yes, he can. And he's turned the tables now. McCoy's got Rocco in trouble. Oh, yes, but he was helped out, and down he goes, right into the front row on the side. See this there, and it's just he's getting counted. In the hubbub, you can't hear what the ref says, but it's obviously got to 10 because his mouth is bleeding. His mouth is bleeding now, McCoy, and it looks very like, uh, yes, this is his bottom left. Two minutes, 27 seconds gone. And he's got something I'm else to say. I'm champion. Oh, take a better man than this to beat me. Where's Kung Fu now? Hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation. Follow us as Steve McCoy.